get a sound say loudly that what I tell my preachers anywhere by the way one of the preachers here learning I don't know he has taken a class with me but he has seen elsewhere thank you that's very important you say now is speak that's it I think now you are better that is very important let the Bible is speak young people let me tell you I'm telling you I'm the man I understand what I mean I have been ever since publishing 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 one of your elders got the books at least two what I published but that is not the only one there are more I publish I think you see life or there's your choice many of you hoping you are reading the book I must preach it's very important there's another one called God's ultimate craving you know what that means God's greatest desire from you what God expects from you and from me so take note of that so that's why it's all about the Bible you cannot reach the depths of the Bible unless you check yourself and determine where you went to this day is many people go to university and they get their degree and they become a big guys I hold two PhDs but those PhDs will never those certificates never go even higher than the roof when I sleep whew, useless even my children cannot benefit them are you listening don't major in it aha there are few guys are here everybody should say don't major in it rather major in it uh -uh. I think you are coming to Bugema thank you so much yeah I respect your university highly dignified in the entire country but then remember fasting first thank you for challenging me you asked me to do something but I decided when I look at that word by word even went to the googling I've seen what you are trying to ask me and so I am uh, going to answer your questions indirectly differently are you reasonable people come on say yes. yes this is very important I cannot preach what you want me to say otherwise I'm not useless so I came up with something indirectly to answer your interest and after all you are important individuals you can google it. when you google that what you asked me it is all about the new concept what the world view that you are asking is the challenge what is the challenge God knows the challenges that you are meeting you're facing after all all of us will confront the confront uh, confrontable the challenging dynamics so I want you to humble yourselves and listen very carefully in short given a time don't major in mind about the time leave the time alone if God wants, God can make you make it shorter. I'm a time conscious man, but I'm not a disorganized man. Are you listening to me? So don't be in. If you are rushed, you have an appointment, can you kindly leave now? That's it. That's it. You can leave now. Otherwise, let us do what we can. God is God. So, I am so happy you said, not Gabriel Warancha should he speak. Rather, who should he speak? That's it. That's it. By the way, thank you. I heard someone, I saw someone was putting up something on the top of the Bible. In the name of Jesus, you did not know what you are doing, but I never put anything on the top of the Bible. But the Bible must be on the top of everything. Have you heard that one? That's what you are, including your heart, your mind, your, yourself. The Bible is the top. The Word of God. We call it Sola scriptura okay so like scriptura meaning bible and the bible alone Aha! are you listening no philosophy no psychology no sociology no missiology no any other but god want no biology uh, uh, uh. you go ahead it's many things go ahead do well uh, perform well and uh, get honors I happen to be one of those honored gold presidential gold medal from this president of the country where I lived in the Philippines. 
And my second PhD, I got a presidential. If you come to Bugema, I wear that gold medal. But that is as long as I breathe. Nothing greater than that. Have you heard that one? Yes. Even Uganda, Education Institute, Higher Commission, they know who I am because they have my certifications. And that's why you call me professor. But the professor is not very important. I'm a humble minister, servant of the Lord, pastor. Yeah. And now in this world, the pastors are not respected. They are simple guys. Pastors are, even poor guys are called pastors. That is what it is. The humble you are, God exalts. When you are exalted, you will come down. And so always make sure, do. Having said that, this is a dynamic concept for your understanding. I want you to follow the procedures. Thank you for your ambition and interest, desire. This is a Bible text here. And this challenges me. It reads, New King James Version, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 8. Come on, everybody, hold on. Hold on. Mark somewhere in the Bible. Here it says, For we must. You know, that word must is very powerful, isn't it? Have you heard, guys? It does not say shall, it does not say may, but it says what? Must. Must means no escaping. That's why my first book is called I Must Preach. And so here it says, For we must all. No excluding anybody, female, male, presidential child, royal family, or a poor, or a widow, or a lay child, or an adult. As far as the brain is clear, understanding, the Bible says, For we must all appear. Woo! Where? Come on, where? For we must all appear before the judgment seat of who? Why? Don't go ahead of me. Follow me. This is what the scripture reads. This is the reality and the truth. That's why I told you, depend upon sola scriptura. The Bible and the Bible alone. Therefore, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ that each one may receive. Come on, how many? Each one may receive. It says, the things done in the body. Hey, what did you do last night? What did you do this morning? You don't know, maybe you may know what are you going to do today? Hey, check. Here it says, then according to what he, you can put she there also, according to what he has done, whether Come on now, say, whether what? Good or bad. Godly or demoniac. Satanic. The Bible says, most recently I published a book called God's Ultimate Craving. One of my deepest concerns is Matthew 7, 21. It bothered me. It still bothers me. When I look at these pictures, Wonderful photos. Come on. See each other face to face. Can you see your friend next to you? Come and see. Come on, guys. Can you see? Beautiful photos. Night pictures. But the Bible says, thank you for being in the church. This is the meaning of worshiping God. Are you listening? But the Bible says, not all who call me Lord, Lord, will Enter where the kingdom of God. The idea is not all. But, comma, only those who do the will of the Father. Woo. That's a concept. Therefore, here this morning, as you invited me, pray for yourself. Humble yourself. Do the best you can. The title of the message that I'm going to share with you, according to your desperate need, the present time, challenge that you are meeting, you want to challenge yourself. The concept is here, 
the day of judgment is sure. Hmm. The day of the judgment is sure. However, however, are you for heaven or hell? Are you getting the idea? My people, are you there? You ask yourself. Don't make sound. But ask your heart, your mind. As I ask, are you for heaven or hell? That's a concept at the present time. And that's globally. Today, we are looking at what is way for what? What is important? Hey guys, come in church to please your friend. Or your friend invited you. Or you want to appear also. Look guys, we dress nicely. By, by the way, the Bible says, human beings judge from outward appearance. But God judges from where? From the heart. Are you with me? Some of you are a very bad habit. Very poor lifestyle. You know what it means. Something bothering you. You do not know the tomorrow. We do not know about tomorrow. But God knows. We know today little to decide right or wrong. But tomorrow, whoo -hoo, watch out. Having said that, before I go very far, allow me to pray. Can you kindly silently pray for me? And uh, I'll pray. Holy, holy, holy God Almighty, great is your faithfulness. Here we are, human beings. Thank you for establishing this church. Inside the church, you are not interested in a wall or a roof or anything around. Your highest interest is our humanity, that we may fit your kingdom. Speak to us who want to listen. In the name of Jesus, we say, Amen. Thank you, my dear blessed brothers and sisters. I am delighted. We must do what is needful. Please, kindly, let's do our best. Thank you for loving the Lord. Thank you for inviting me. And there are people, prayer warriors, praying for us at Bugema. And we met 5.30 there in the morning. We prayed, prayed. We will keep on praying. Yes. The scripture indicated the dynamic needs out of us that we need to do. I want to thank you guys. I don't know you, surely. I greeted some of you, yes. As far as the inside is concerned, nobody knows anyone. You know that? I have a very wonderful lady, my wife. She could have come with us, but we have a visitors on the campus very far from the United States. And our, also one of our sons just arrived, so she could not come. But greetings she has said. So, I know, but I know I love my wife. I always tell to my students that, you see, I want to thank God. Like this, my elder, she's also PK. But God enabled me to marry that woman. From my judgment, my understanding, I say always, when Jesus comes, one of these days when he comes, this mortal body shall put on immortality. The good thing, both my children and myself will go to heaven. The good thing is the better that I know my wife is, even though I'm ordained minister, but I think my wife will be go ahead of me. Then I will follow. Ha ha! Do you understand what it means? What am I talking? Thank you for laughing. But the bottom line is, it's a question. What is that? Why? You mean the pastor preaching to us a criminal, rude, cruel man? Huh? Is that what you have concluded now immediately? Watch out, slow down, think big, reason enough. God knows. But from my outward appearance, how she cares, how she loves. I love her. I'm a minister. I hate evil. Uh, I mean, I hate evil. I love good. God is my goodness. However, from my understanding, we all go to heaven. But I thank God, my wife will be a little bit ahead of me. Oh, you could have asked yourself, what does that mean? Are you getting me, people? I'll not tell you. 
God knows. But anyway, it might be a wrong, it might be a right. But from my point of view, that's what I think. Why? I even look at my students, theologians. I've been teaching ever since. Ever since I've been teaching, including missionaries, started in Asia, Philippines. For years, I taught for six years missionaries all over the world as a missionary. And thereafter, I've been doing Africa, down south in Zimbabwe, all in Kenya, in Uganda. I've been doing all training students from 25 countries throughout Africa. But who will be in the kingdom of heaven? Who will stand the family kindly and of course before the judge? We'll talk more. Take note, young people. It's nice to be called, dressed up nicely. Thank you for being decent. I think today is the Sabbath. By the way, many people around the world, do you know what they say? Are you hearing me? They say Adventists. They are people of the book. Recently, I gave a devotion here, Bible Society. Here, you know the Bible Society house? Your neighbor? Eh? Yeah. I gave a devotion, short devotion. They didn't ask me, but when I was a member of the Bible Society, I came. And the man said, Professor, would you give us a devotion? I was holding my Bible here, and I said, eh, they didn't ask me, but why should I say? It's okay. So I go, and I stood up, and they gave, invited me. The whole congregation filled up under the tents, and then I spoke shortly. When I had done my part, I read the book of Revelation, chapter 1, 1, 2, 3, 4 verses. And I know that it says here, here, read and keep. You know that one? Maybe you don't know. Anyway. But I explained what it means in short. Within 10 minutes, I finished. The man stood up. Eh, these people. Who? You are really people of the Bible. People of the book. And they don't know who I am. So it's all right. Later on, I want to say, those guys, ah, they are powerful guys. They know the Bible. Especially on their own day. You know the day? Which day is their own day? Which day? That's what you are now, today. On their own day. They are good. By the way, do you own the day? Who is the owner of the day? God. We don't. That's what misunderstand they say. They are good on their own day. But throughout the week, they are bad guys. They eat each other. They sell each other. Huh? Have you heard that one? Well, don't major those things. Leave them alone. Here the Bible says, we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. That's what you want to know. Because time is short. Life is short. And the challenges are many. My people... My people, including me, what are we doing? Who are we? What are we doing? What are the expectations? Do you know who you are? It does not matter what we look like today. The most important is, does the heaven know you? Will you fit that judgment day when, whether dead or alive, we stand? Huh? What is the expectation? That is very important. God is people. Here, the Bible teaches, one, that God has uh, appointed a day of judgment. That's a very critical. A day of judgment. Nobody can escape. We have to fit. That's very important. Why? To judge the world. God is set to judge the world. That's what you find in the book of Revelation 24. And I saw thrones, and they sat on, come on, they sat on them, and the judgment was committed to them. Then I saw the souls, persons, individuals, of those who had been beheaded for their witness to Jesus, and for the word of God. That's why I'm telling you. What does the Bible, the scripture say? What the word of God say to you, to me? Today, according to our standards, we know here. But even the little we know, we don't practice sorry. We don't practice sorry. Young people, God loves you. 
But the question is, do you love God? Are you there with me? Do you love God? If you and I love, what are the expectations? What are the realities? Those in life, love, those who lived sincerely in life, did a good job. In life, they have done. They witnessed. They were not afraid. Rather, they stood for the truth. Whatever happens, right is the right, wrong is the wrong. They belong to God. God will award them. Hallelujah. So the question is, will you fit that award? That's a question. Take note. Yes. Who had not worshipped those beloved ones? Who had not worshipped the beast? That's one of the concepts you asked me to explain. The beast or his image. And had not received his mark on their foreheads or on their hands. And uh, it says, and uh, they lived and uh, reigned with Christ for a thousand years. Hallelujah. Amen. Will you reign with Jesus a thousand years in heaven before God cleanses this earth? We come back for eternity. Those are dynamic elements that we have to know what it means. My brother, my sister, minor is minor, major is major. God is our priority. Make God your priority. That's why God given us the first dynamic principles that we should understand. That as you and I have been told, that is Matthew 6.33. You remember that? What does it say? Seek ye first the kingdom of God and the God is one. Righteousness. All other things shall be added unto you. Therefore, my, my young people, God is people, all the seniors, juniors, take not female, male, major in major. Do the best you can. Thank you for choosing to do right. Right is a right. Wrong is wrong. Never compromise. That's what Paul said. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. 12, verse 2. Do not, it says here, compromise this world. Rather be transformed. What is the God's highest desire, ambition? Actually, I wanted to preach in that verse, but I decided to change it because God said change that one. But I remember Romans 12, 12. It's a dynamic element. For your question, what God wants you, to, you and I to become. Take note. That's what the Bible says so. So my dear ones, God loves you, yes. You can do. But one thing, listen to this. It says, both the just and the unjust, believer and the unbeliever, will appear in the judgment day. The Christ, the chief. Judge, as God the Father said, He will judge, and you will see. Surprising enough, some of you, they are good ushers. They would be gladly. God will allow, depending on your sincerity, devotion that you do, determination where you want to reach. Don't want to become a top guy in this world. If God wants, He can let you go. Do. By the way, serving the Lord, whether you are a cleaner or you are like uh, those uh, collecting offerings or any other superior up there, you think. But I think uh, remember, whatever service we serve, God acknowledges, God recognizes, He will award us in the name of Jesus. Amen. That's very, very important. The Bible says so many good things here. And I want to let you know, so the day of judgment is sure. Are you for heaven or for hell? May the good God, in the name of Jesus, protect you from hell. This is very important, young people. Do the best you can. Stand for the right, the right is the right, the wrong is the wrong. That's why the book Education by Ellen White talks about, page 57, wonderfully. Look at that, wonderfully. The wants of the world. 
The world wants somebody with a sincere, devoted, determined, distinguished, that writing forward, going, moving forward, never backward, looking upward, God is our priority. That's what it is. Therefore, my people, what is your ambition? What is your interest? Yes, that very text it says, for we must all appear, including the Gabriel Warancha. You told me to introduce myself. I don't need to introduce myself. You do a research that when you are students, what I do, do your research, okay? I don't need, I don't do taking time wasting on the pulpit. I'm so and so, I'm so and so. Rubbish, we are all equal up there, or what is very important about me. You get the idea? The most important is God and God alone. Hallelujah. Today, tribalism, tribalism, isms, all kind of pollutions. So I said, I am a royal family. I am a big guy. I am a man after all ladies are lower. Who told you? Who told you? You think Jesus died for the richest, for the handsome, for the beautiful, for your royal family? For whom did Jesus die? No, Jesus died for all. As long as you are human beings. That what if the Bible says, Genesis 1, 26, 27, Jesus created us in his image and likeness. Therefore, sin came, Genesis 3, 15, that God face to face told the devil, devil, you are a liar. Listen to me. I will create enmity between you and my people. Hallelujah. The fulfillment is John Genesis, John 3, 16. For God so loved the world, the world, which world? The bush, the cows, the animals, the beasts, the birds, the building, the money, which world? Which world? I, that is true, God bless you, I love you. That's very important, I, as a sinner, cruel, hopeless guy, but only thing, God said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, whosoever. You said it. Do you practice? Are you for it? Are you with it? Is that your determination? Whosoever believes should not what? Perish, but have what? Everlasting life. We are, that's what I'm talking about, judgment. The judgment time is coming, young people. I may not have a time to talk again, but it's my privilege. Even though you gave me some titles, some questions, I am answering your question. Are you getting me? Indirectly, yes. The difference is I'm a professor. Professor of not psychology or I'm an educationist, but I'm a missiologist. I'm a theologian also. That's why I want you to take note. I want you to see what is important. Never major in a minor. Rather major in a major. Let the Bible be your priority. Therefore we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. Many of us we don't understand what it means. But God teaches that each one, each one, everyone, whatever tribe, whatever age you are, whatever education you are, whatever possession you have, remember that each one may receive the things done in where? Come on everybody, where? In the body, where in the body? In the bush? Here in the body. Here in the body. You remember Isaiah, when people are worried about sin problems, God said what? Come let us do what? Come on. Come on. You are Bible guys. Come on. Let us do what? Reasoning with the leg. With the leg. With the hand. Come on in the brain. Eh? Look. Listen. That's why God created us in his image and likeness. We are godliness. God gave opportunity for us to reason adequately. Some are reasoning negatively. They are killing themselves. God, God does not judge, but we judge ourselves. We prepare ourselves to hell. The Lord protect us from hell in the name of Jesus. Take care. Take care. Take care, young people. 
That what it is. Time is its own. And very soon it is here. According to what he has. She has done. Whether good or bad. Bad does not belong to God. Bad belongs to the devil. Good belongs to God. That's why you said God is good. Hallelujah. Take note young people. It is here. You are accountable. I'm accountable. That's why God gives us an opportunity, privilege to reason adequately. Thank you. Thank you. Second Peter 2 9, the Bible says, Then the Lord knows how to deliver the godly out of what? Come on, it says here, Then the Lord knows how to deliver who? The godly. Hallelujah. Come on, say louder. Hallelujah. Yes. Correct. Then the Lord knows how to deliver the godly out of temptations. I know many of you have uh, temptations. <laughs> Especially young ones. <laughs> Are you hearing me? <laughs> Watch your eyes. Watch your mind. Watch your attitude. Watch your abuse. Don't put on clothes to tempt a brother. Tempt a sister. Hey, scholars, intelligent young people, make sure major and major, never major in a minor. Otherwise, you are leading yourself into hell. May the Lord protect you from hell in the name of Jesus. Therefore, God is great. God helps, tells. God shows. God guides. God helps depending on our willingness. That's why we search the truth and the truth shall set us free. Therefore, here, take care. All will face this from punishment for the day of, here it says, the day of judgment of God will here include you and I do the judgment day. It says here, the judgment of God will include this one. One, the righteous and the wicked dead. They will appear. It happens. Here it says, it will end with the righteous living and the wicked dead. Revelation, it talks here, 20, chapter 20. Verses 4 to 6, 4 we read. And from verse 5 it says, But the rest of the dead did not live again until the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection, it says. 6. Blessed and the holy is he who had part in the first resurrection. Hallelujah. You must watch and why to have a play greater role that to be there in the first resurrection that your mortal, my mortal body shall put on in twinkling of an eye and we put on immortality. We lift up and we go with him and reign there in joy, rejoice for 1,000 years. Thereafter, when before that second appears, that all the dead, all they will appear but judgment because if they had no hope in the first, the second one is eternal domination, destruction. May the Lord protect you from that one. Amen. Amen. That's very important. Therefore, the day of judgment is sure. Are you for heaven or hell? I believe you are for heaven. Therefore, I want you to protect yourself. Our Lord gives a strong emphasis on judgment to come. Judgment to come. Matthew 5, 21. Here it says, You have heard that it was said to those of old, You shall not murder. And whoever murders will be in danger of the judgment. Negative. Negative. So take care. Protect your brother, your sister. Your family members, your name, neighbor. Don't hurt. Do the best you can. Killing, murdering is not only poisoning. Not only just uh, stealing. 
not all ya chichiti eh eh it is a realistically what you do by being a bad example you can murder your brother make sure i remember that uh, unfortunate father the man called eli he did not take care for his children when the day children went the wrong direction and unfortunately they died a bad death and they died when the news came to the man the man was uh, sat on the two on the chair al or a stool i don't know when he heard he fell down and the bible says he died too you think you will see him the judgment negatively because he didn't do he didn't let they know good example good life please kindly help yourself verse 22 but i say to you that whoever is angry with his brother without <coughs> sorry without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment what does that imply remember love your brother in fact the bible says if your brother offended if your cousin offended or if your uncle offended or for anybody your neighbor offends you and still the bible says good to him do good to him do good to her be kind be merciful pray because they do not know what they are doing that what jesus said for those persecutors recently i met some challenges but god taught me i prayed 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 i know god is great god he answers all our prayers with him all things are possible take note of that that's very important so my people who is a great judge for sure jesus christ is the great judge why do you think so why remember jesus who is jesus what did he do to you to us the criminals the unfortunate people he did wonders he has a john 5:22 for the father judges no one but has committed all judgment to who to the son hallelujah that's why you and i must believe in jesus jesus loved cared so take note john 5:27 and has given him as jesus authority god the father gave him authority authority to execute judgment also because he is the son of man hallelujah therefore my brother my sister thank you loving god living for god is glory determining right is right wrong is wrong that's your direction if you do so we shall be together we will rejoice the new life in christ jesus we will have even to the extent amazingly you will be one of the judge you will even judge the angels you know that yes here it says we should know of the judgment brother and sister please take note that god has appointed a day of judgment yes at 1731 god appointed a day on which he will judge he will judge the world in a righteousness by the man whom he has ordained that's none other than jesus christ hallelujah when we are saved by through his blood sacrifice we are blessed we become his brothers he is our elder brother hallelujah that's what the bible says said to us he has given as he says assurance of this to all by raising him from the dead jesus won the victory jesus granted success we are winners with him here this era in malachi 3:16 the bible says then those who feared the lord spoke to one another and the lord listened listened and heard them so a book of uh, remembrance was uh, written before him as jesus for those who 
fear the Lord and uh, who men meditate on his name. Hallelujah. That's why when you pray today, you finish your prayer in the name of Jesus. When you pray, you claim the promise of Jesus. Jesus did wonders. Verse 17. They shall be mine. God says, we, you, I, belong to him. And says the Lord of hosts, on that day that I make them my jewels, precious gifts, blessed men and women, and I will spare them as a man spares his own. Hallelujah. That's what it is. His own son who saved him. So the book of life that has been brought to us. We are blessed people. God gives this. Luke chapter 10 20 says. Nevertheless do not rejoice in this. That the spirits are subject to you. But rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Hallelujah. That's it. That's it. My brother, my sister. Don't worry. Even the devils obey you. Because you lift the word of God. I experience it in life. But don't much too much excited. There are those who do. But they may not. Because hindrances are here and there. Obstacles are many. So your priority must be consistently first thing first. Therefore, rejoice. God will take you. You will have a wonderful time. And God will give you life eternal. Life eternal. Rule in the judgment is God's commandment. We are here, God's people. We respect God's commandment. God has given us eternal character depictors. That the ten commandments are God's character depictors. And destination, the world will be judged. And we have to fit that and respect it. That's why you are here today. Ecclesiastes 12, 13, I'm finishing. Listen to this. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Come on, are you there? Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God, hallelujah. Fear God and do what? Keep his commandments. For this is man's all. Hallelujah. This is important, young people. Please kindly. Don't be involved in a negative judgment. Rather righteously respecting God and God's procedures, protocols, following what is needful. Do the best. Stand for the right. God will protect you. You will fit his kingdom. So don't worry so much. The rest you can study. This is in the world today demand. There are evil ones demand today to worship evil, to follow their procedures, to even break God's commandments. Come up their own decision like Sunday. God protect you from such. Rather right is the right. Keep do the best. That's why James says that if you try to keep the whole law and you break one, offend one, you offend how many? All. Take care. Help your brother, your family members, your uncle, your auntie, your mom and daddy, without any neighbors, without fear, politely, prayerfully. Help others to know. They so call themselves Christians. But things are very far. So do you know. That the saints will judge. And you could be. One of those who. Will judge one of these days. You never know. First Corinthians. It says here. 62. Do you not know. That the saints will judge. The world. And if the world, if the world will be judged by you, are you unworthy to judge the smallest matters? You didn't hear. You didn't hear. This is a complicated statement. Yes. If God would give you the chance and opportunity to do all right, to the extent what Jesus has been doing, will be doing and that is still you be part and parcel because you are in new form. Putting on that immortality. You will even observe, judge the angels. 
then today. If that will be a future event through the grace of God, through the shed of blood, shed the blood of Jesus, you will do. If that will come, why don't you start the reasoning adequately today? Have you heard me? Have you heard me? I know some of you are hungry, you want to go, you are accusing me that this man is not keeping time. Isn't it? God knows your heart. Major and major. What I'm saying here, listen to me. Some of you are doing some stupid things. Sorry, I'm close. Some of you are doing some stupid things. Outward appearance will look like a pastor, elder, minister, pastor, professor, blah, 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 blah. but our inside is rotten, dirty. Huh? Remember, God does not want to have a dirty thing. No compromise. Stand for the right though the heavens fall. Do right is right, wrong is wrong. Learn, keep on learning. Make your brain, your mind, your heart available for God. God, the Holy Spirit to come on you, in you and prepare you for the eternal kingdom. Would you say amen or a question? Amen. Amen. That is very important, my people. Therefore, here it is. The Bible says, 1 Corinthians 6, 3, Do you not know that we shall judge angels? Yes! How much more things that pertain to this life? Yes, the here it says the giving of the reward to the righteous. God will bless his children. And you will be blessed because they cannot repay you. For you shall be repaid at the resurrection of the just. Hallelujah. You will be blessed. How will the judgment affect you and I? This is very important. Galatians 6, 7. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked for whatever a man sows that he will also reap. Take note. Take note, my brother, my sister. I'm looking at myself also. Take note. God is not a God of compromise. Rather says we will have the judgment in our favor. Yes, God will bless us. Peter state saying here, Acts chapter 3, 19, Repent, therefore, and be converted. Yes, your sins may be blotted out so that times of refreshing may come from the re re this presence of the Lord. He will bless us. He will give us. The day of judgment is sure. Are you for heaven or hell? I beg of you, don't postpone God-given opportunity. Here the Bible says, please, now as he reasoned about righteousness, self-control, and he says the judgment to come. Here Felix, like Felix was afraid. And answered, go away for now. When I have a, a convenient time, I will call you for, I will call for you. That's a compromise don't ever do. Rather here says the Roman 8, 1. Say there, he, there is, there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. I want to thank God. God is kind. God is caring. So he says, do not walk according to the flesh, but according to what? The spirit. Young people, thank you for loving the Lord. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Therefore, I'm asking you, he who did not spare his own son but delivered him up for us all how shall he not with him also 
freely give us all things. God will give, God will bless, God will revive you and I. That's therefore God says, this is God's call. Revelation 22, 17, ending. And uh, the spirit and the bride say, come. Let him who hears say, come. And let him who thirsts, thirsty is what? Come. Whoever desires, let him take the water of life freely. Brothers, sisters, friends, are you willing to come to Jesus? Are you listening? Are you willing to come to Jesus? How much? What can you do? What's your determination? What is your willingness? How much committed are you? Uh, if that is your case, Jesus died for you. Jesus paid. Jesus did all what we need. We don't deserve. But because of his kindness, that great love, we are for him. Therefore, he says, come unto me. Tonight, on this day, before we end, not tonight, but today, I ask you this. Thank you for living Christian life. Whatever way you live. Anywhere you live, I live. But if this is the day. You and I must determine to complete what is needful. Before you do anything, make sure you, have a, you are intact with God. That God may use you. Younger or old, any color. Determine and ask God. God will bless you. God will change you. God never forces anybody. But God is willingly. If you are willing, God is ever willing. Therefore, I ask your commitment. Let the past pass. Let the present that be your commitment. Future God holds the decision. God knows. May the good God protect you from hell issues. May the good Lord grant you a heavenward award. May the good God give you sincerity, devotion, Involve yourself in the mission ministry. In this last day, the remnant church requires, God requires that from the remnant church, you are part and apostle, determined to do good. Witness unto others. Let them see your right work. Let them imitate you as God's children. If that is your determination, stand on your feet. I'm going to pray. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for standing. Make a decision. Tell yourself. Determine what you want to become. God is God. God gives you. Honor, respect the Bible, Sola Scriptura. Walk with it. Claim the promise. Do the needful. Blessed are you that you will have a great opportunity one day, soon and very soon, when the eastern sky that blood lightened. The trumpet shall sound. Jesus comes. We shall put on, if we are alive, the immortal body. This will go. Even if you sleep in the Lord, it's okay. Rightful attitude. With a determination, correct thinking, sleep. That Jesus will have a power for us who will be winners by the grace of God. With that, as I pray audibly, pray for yourself. Determine what you become. Decide and tell the Lord what you want to become. Make sure all is right with you. With that, I'm praying now. Holy, holy, holy God Almighty, great is your faithfulness. Thank you for your servants in this room. They are thinking others, family members, parents, brothers and sisters, neighbors, classmates, roommates, streetmates, whatever. I pray, dear Lord, help them to be, to be united. To do your will, glorify your name. Let all things go. Keep keeping us all right for your integrity, dignity. May we honor your respect, your sincerity. Thank you, Lord, for invitation came to me. I leave all things in your hands. Are they now, Lord, take a decision to do the better way to move forward, to honor, glorify you, to do your will, to be in heaven? Please protect them from negative judgment. Give them positive direction that they may inherit 
the kingdom of God together. One of these days, we shall be up there, there in heaven. Let your will be done. Thank you for hearing. I pray in Jesus' name we say together, Amen. I'm not sure whether I'll be alive tomorrow. But what I'm sure of is the judgment is coming and it's upon to choose upon us to choose whether to go to heaven or to go to hell. I would like us to sing the closing 